In the world's oceans, there are countless species promoting incredible diversity in oceanic and coastal ecosystems. Chondrichthines, a group of fish including sharks, rays, skates and chimeras, only adds to this diversity, playing a vital role in the ocean's food chain. Of course, when it comes to food, these species aren't the only ones on the hunt for fish, with millions of humans relying primarily on fish to supply them with protein in their diet. For those that rely on fishing to provide an income, the amount of fish caught and the value of such catches are crucial in order to meet the demands of the population and provide them with sustainable income. Originally seen as non-valued bycatch, chondroitines were frequently caught and discarded. However, after many began utilising these animals for their meat, oils and leather, the value significantly increased, leading to an increase in demand and subsequently increasing the number and frequency of catches. With many fisheries contributing to the number of landings without proper management procedures in place, there was concern for the sustainability of such species. As a result, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization developed and recommended national plans of action for sharks. Ten aims regarding sustainability, waste minimization, threatened species, and closely monitored catch reports with ecosystem considerations were put in place. Alongside this, a number of other global initiatives were created, placing important limits on carcass disposal and the number of people illegally fishing. However, despite this, landing reports continued to increase until reaching their peak in 2003. Following this peak value, reported landings dropped 15% by 2011, a result that was hoped to be due to the management initiatives in place. Through a study conducted by a number of scientists on this decline, data taken from each country on their reported chondroitine landings, data taken from the ecosystems and data gained from coastal populations, a larger picture was created to assess whether fishing managements were really the cause of the decrease in landings. From the results of their study, it was observed that 86 of the 147 countries involved in the study reported a reduction in the number of chondroitine landings. Overall, across all reporting countries, on average, 837 tonnes of chondrichthyan mass were seen to decline. Although some countries still reported increases in landings, including countries such as Spain, those that did were found to have limited management plans in place, however, many other factors were apparently to play. The bulk of the landings decline, exactly 80%, was found to occur in countries with two or fewer management measures. This overall decline in landings appeared to be driven primarily by overfishing, with countries housing larger coastal populations as well as large volumes of chondroitine meat export experiencing larger declines in landings. It was ultimately found that decline in landings of sharks and rays could not be attributed to the management strategies put in place, but rather as a result of a population decline in vulnerable species. The high demand for meat from these species in order to create traditional recipes such as shark fin soup has prompted many to question whether this could ever be sustainable. The blue sharks making up 17% of the overall fin weight on the markets of Hong Kong. It is thought that with better fishing quotas and the blue sharks naturally high levels of productivity that it could be fished sustainably. Some see this as wishful thinking however, stating that with such a high demand many would have to sacrifice their usage, something ultimately that may be unachievable. In order to allow these populations to recover, it's crucial that countries stick to the management procedures in place and communicate to ensure ecosystems are protected and species are not driven to extinction. A worry, however, stems from those independently breaking the law to fish these animals, trading their meat on black markets where the products still fetch a fortune. Governments must take more action to prevent this and protect our oceans to ensure that we have both enough food for our populations and also enough individuals in chondroitine populations to promote sustainability.